This is the Gilmont British News, presenting the world to the world. people of this world get put into homes, but before that they get into the news. And it's surprising how many crazy things happen in the course of a year. For instance, look at this aeroplane that carries a car underneath. What's the good of it? If an aeroplane breaks down, you don't need a car but a harp. Look at this bird plane. This man means to fly or bust his suspenders. <laughs> Take a look at a few of the crazy drivers on the road. You wonder how they do it. This is how. The young man in the blue queue will kindly take his arm from around the girl's waist and pay attention to his driving. This is the voice of safety. You've heard of the Grand National? Well, that's all right, but this is the Pekingese Grand National mixed up with Ascot fashion. And although a dog show is usually sane enough, how did this get in? Or the dog that says, Mama. Mama! Hi, Mama. <laughs> when the Admiral has finished manoeuvring his fleet on the ocean, the sailors come ashore. And you generally find that you can manoeuvre better if you're not an Admiral. But the budding midshipman gets gold stripes on his tunic and red stripes on his face. On the continent, they hold a marriage lunch where the same sort of thing goes on. They don't eat their lunch and they don't need it. All except one old bachelor. He likes the beer. American scientists have invented a machine to test the reaction of heartbeats to kisses. Nobody but a scientist would need a machine. Oh, Professor! The Chinese do things on a grand scale. Here's a wedding at which 57 couples got married all at once. Their friends and relations brought rice to throw, but the ceremony lasted so long they ate it. This naturally leads to a Japanese baby story. Hello, you shaved a bit high this morning. In Japan, there's a baby born every 15 seconds, but not in the same family. Somebody invented a baby's self-rocking cradle, and then it went on to the self-rocking mother. And from the cradle, it went on to the air-conditioned bed. For spinsters, a special model could be made to snore. Bathing beauties are not necessarily crazy. They make other people crazy. They make young men old and old men desperate. On the beaches during the summer, we get the most surprising results. And when the Atlantic Beach Club held a fashion parade, everybody started doing it. Enough to make a good bathing beauty curl up and die. We didn't mind when they started fashion parades on the top of buses, although many a girl who looks okay on a bus gets out of a taxi all untidy. But when Sir Kingsley Wood opened a new block of flats, they all got coy there too. Come up and see me sometime. We tried to get away from girls for a bit, and by gosh we did it when the boys of the old brigade turned out to put out a fire. Racing madly to the conflagration, nothing can stop them except a puncture. When they got to the scene of the fire, they found the hen coops blazing like matchwood. That wasn't surprising, they were matchwood. The hens left their homes without loss of life, but when they went in to see what was left, they needed gas masks. Their eggs were terrible. But even firefighting has the feminine touch these days. In this town, when a man gets lonely, he sets fire to the curtains. When the no-hose firefighters do a rescue, it goes all wrong, and the fire bell turns into a wedding chime. Speaking of wrestling, what could be crazier than all in? The gentleman explaining which little pig went to market has nothing on these fellows. When the winner threw the loser out of the ring, he tackled the referee, and finally everyone joined in. And here are four wrestling brothers, all in, half out, and half seas over. Who's the champion? Joe goes down, so does Ernie. It's Emil or Rudy, or both, or neither. There wasn't any fighting, all in or otherwise, for the British Army. When we called in at Aldershot, we found them singing.
next fight was a bullfight fiesta in northern Spain. Dancing in the streets was intended to amuse the spectators and madden the bull. Instead, it amused the bull and maddened the spectators. The spectators then collected the bulls and drove them into the bull ring. But it looked like being an empty house, so the bulls collected the spectators and drove them into the box office. Toreador's bulls and spectators got all mixed up. And in the end, the matadors brought out a placard telling the bull to see what happened on Gilmont British News. And another bullfight, one with real danger in it. First of all, the Toreador sought out his senorita for a word of encouragement. She said, if you kill the bull, I'll marry you. If you don't, I'll bury you. She's a nice girl. The lady bull is saying the same thing. Then they went into the bull ring. The Toreador was cool, the bull was crazy. Hello, there's a cameraman. He's crazy too. The bull got the cameraman in the middle of the proceedings, and then the Toreador got the bull. Dead and never called me mother. We got used to cannonball men, and then we got the cannonball girl. If they're going to use this kind of ammunition, roll on the next war. Here's a cannonball man with a new idea. He says it's good for indigestion. That's okay, but I don't need indigestion. He did this trick once at a matinee at a lunatic asylum. After the trick, they made him head man. There was a cannonball man in the American circus. Stupendous, stupefying. Stupid. A lot of people who flew through the air were to be seen at the water tourney in France. There they either push each other into the water or fall into the water. They must be daft, they forgot to push the band in the water. Water, water everywhere. As if aquaplaning isn't dangerous enough, they must 